Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into the uh, district attorney of Manhattan, uh, Alvin Bragg's uh, situation. So uh, let's see how that goes. Um, you know, what's happened here is Trump lied in his business records to hide the fact in his, before his 2016 campaign that he had paid off this porn star for sex. Okay, through Michael Cohen, who went to jail for 33 years and uh, now has a vendetta against Trump. Uh, wielding the truth. So it's very interesting when the criminal uh, uh, is using the truth as a weapon against his enemy. Um, so that's, this will be about uh, that trial. The Alvin Bragg uh, paid uh, the porn star, hushed it up, and lied about it in the New York Business Records uh, uh, tarot reading. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. All right, so we'll see what we have today for the Alan Bragg uh, situation, which, by the way, if you remember, originally he wasn't going to prosecute it. He got the job. The other fellow, who I've forgotten his name, who got this all going, uh, uh, retired. And, uh, or, for I think Alvin Bragg was elected to this position, but uh, for whatever reason, the other guy's gone. Uh, Alvin Bragg said, oh, no, we're not going to do this. And then all of a sudden, after one case won, I forgot which one it was, um, said, okay, yeah, we'll do it. I guess it was the uh, personal case of the uh, woman who says that he raped her or that he raped uh, in a bathroom in Bergdorf Goodman. So Alvin Bragg, the 2016, hide the payment um, and, and lie about it on your records that you file with the state of New York. Okay. How is this going to go? But before we do any of that, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay. Let's uh, see what the cards can tell us. Again, this will be a full uh, Celtic cross for this situation. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's prosecution against uh, Donald Trump. And the first thing we want to do is get six cards out and then we'll draw another four a little bit later on. So one. And remember, if you like these cards, I'm going to be talking about them towards the end of the video. Um, and you'll get to see uh, more of them. Um, so, you know, if that interests you, just hang around and uh, hopefully you'll like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't walk and chew gum and I can't talk and, and deal cards at the same time. I wouldn't work out in Vegas, I guess. So, the signifier card for what's going on, what will happen, tell us cards what you can about this prosecution that Alvin Bragg is leading against Trump in New York. So, the King of Coins. King of Coins. Coins are, are, are a value um, or can be money. King of Coins, and I got to tell you, the first thing that came to mind was Alvin Bragg. That he has got, he has got the value there. But then the second thing that came to mind is it is this Trump, uh, King of Coins. So let's see uh, how this uh, plays out. Signified card is a King of Coins, either Bragg or Trump. And then the challenge to it is the Chariot. Things coming on quickly. So I'm going to say this is probably um, Trump, and uh, this uh, thing's getting ready to happen with this major arcana is brag as a matter of fact this is a black guy and um how about that so he could be coming on trump quickly and look he's looking at him he's now um the base of everything then is the seven of wands what is the seven of wands well wands are actions plans forward movement the seven of wands are actions that are poking up at this uh figure here you know um uh being a problem but this figure has one wand with which to act. So the base of all of this are all these issues poking up 
at this trapped uh, animal. Who do, you, who do you think that is and, and who do you think these issues are? The past of this are the lover's cards. Oh, it's perfect because it's Stormy Daniel and Donald Trump uh, having sex and him paying her for it uh, and hiding the fact that he paid for it when he filed his New York documents. So the past of this is the lovers say no more. So far, this is a pretty obvious uh, reading. Uh, the King of Coin, Donald Trump, the uh, Chariot coming on in quickly, uh, Alan Bragg, uh, the, all of these issues poking out at this uh, uh, animal on the edge of a cliff. And then the past of it is, in fact, what was the past of it? His, uh, you can't call it an affair, his arrangement for Stormy Daniels for sex that he hid uh, and the cost of which he took in um, deductions or expenses. Uh, he cheated the state of New York. The sky of this then is the wise one. This is the five card. This is the major arcana. This would be like the Hierophant in a normal tarot deck or a traditional tarot deck. So the the top of all this is the government. The, the wise one, the Hierophant, is the uh, method or the authority by which a thing is governed or led. And so the top of this is the government will be the aim. And then uh, the final outcome of this is the Knight of Cups. Interesting cards. So cups are, uh, actually, are heartfelt or emotional. This knight is 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 laying bare and riding in on uh, this uh, this fish huh it's very interesting it's not it's a kind of precarious um the, so the knight is the one who's going to fight for his remit but this knight has got a personal uh uh remit you know he's personally involved in this so i don't know if this is trump or Bragg, but whatever it is this knight uh rides in um of cups and that's a pretty strong position to take. I'm going to say this must still be Bragg. Um, the signifier of that very question about what's happening for uh, in this situation with Trump, Bragg, uh, the sex payment, mis uh, you know, misrepresented in his business documents in New York, and they don't like that. The of that question is the Eight of Wands again. All these things uh, happening is what's the problem. It's all coming together. And that's what uh, Alan Bragg, he said to refresh the case. Said, okay, we'll do it now. I've got enough now. All this came down. The environment that that's in is this uh, hanged man. Okay. the hang And can you see him uh, hanging upside down here? Kind of. Uh, you really have to interpret it in this card. These look like hands. Okay this way you can see the face let me turn it over if you look at it this way you can see the face you can see the shoulders you can see the arms coming down you can see that these are like uh, pantaloons pants this leg is bent back with a foot right here this leg is hanging down but this is the hangman so it's it, and it was dealt this way so this is looking at things from another perspective and so and that's the environment that this uh, eight of wands is which are all the issues coming. so looking at them in the correct perspective this isn't just that he paid off a porn star the, he paid off a porn star which is i guess fine but he then tried to hide it in his business documents and took credits deductions uh cover and didn't account for it properly in the state of new york and so they don't take kindly to that the um, hopes and the fears for all of that is oof, death. Yeah, death. End, 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 end of a cycle. And let's see if we can interpret this death. It's a figure here, okay? This take, looks kind of to be a body with legs maybe here, the head right here, almost like a fish, and uh, but death. And then re being reborn out of this uh, piercing uh, stake sort of thing. You see a moth and a butterfly. And uh, so the the hopes and the fears for this are the end, uh, the stinky end of that cycle. And then the uh, final outcome for everything is uh, this five of coins being left out in the cold. Being left out in the cold. Who's left out in the cold? You know, it has to be Trump. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, coins, of course, are value. And being left out in the Trump without value, uh, being out, left out in the cold without value, is the final outcome for that. Um, that sounds about right. That's pretty satisfactory. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so the Uncommon Tarot. This is uh, the Uncommon Tarot is by Shaheen uh, Miro. 
uh, who's an intuitive energy worker and artist with commentary by uh, Teresa Reed, who is the, known as the Tarot Lady from a lot of blogs, the websites, and podcasts. And Uncommon is even defined here. You can just barely see it, but it says uh, not ordinary, remarkably exceptional, sort of as you would see in a dictionary. Uh, so here we go. It's a nice box. Uh, it's got that nice little clasp, which you don't often see on a smaller, and it's like you might expect a perfume to come in this box. It's that kind of quality. Okay, and the material is really has a nice sheen. So it's a beautiful piece of packaging. You know, at least you felt like, um, you know, you're getting a little something for this. The um, inside does have that definition on this foil, silver uh, foil uh, thing, uh, uncommon how to pronounce, ordinary, remarkable, uh, exceptional. And then the book is really a nice little booklet. It's uh, personalized by the artist. It's got some good information in here about him and the tarot lady, uh, Teresa Reed. And um, a little story about why he decided to make these tarot cards, and it goes really back to his youth. Um, his mother, in front of her children, she would lay out a few tarot cards on the table and ask what they saw, and the cards became kind of a moving uh, picture book uh, for the family. And you'll see what I mean uh, with his design of these cards. Okay, I'll just put this away right back in there. So, uh oh, I think I've got some cards backwards here, just like I do. Okay, so they are, uh, as you can see, silver foil gilded. Um, and then they've got a nice weight to them. They're not particularly heavy. They're just about right, actually. And just a typical dark, kind of mysterious back. The front of the cards, though, is beautiful. The images go from, you know, edge to edge. It's a nice, glossy, deep, uh, quality feeling card with beautiful, rich colors. And uh, Shaheen's Un Uncommon Tarot is a contemporary re-imaging of the Rider Waite Tarot uh, with a collage work uh, melange, uh, rich with worldly people, uh, places, and settings. I mean, you can see. So they're beautiful, beautiful cards. They're not hard to use because in the bottom it just tells you what that card is and then you get to take a minute and then pick out the elements in here that are pertinent to what you're uh, reading about. So uh, beautiful cards. This is always a good way to spread the cards out and get your energy into them or get them warmed up for the day or maybe you're working with somebody your friends are sitting around you can let them mix them up if you don't want to have them shuffle. And uh, so that is the Uncommon Tarot. Well, coming back tomorrow I'll be doing it all again so ciao for now.